The temple people disappeared from the island of Malta sometime around 2300 BC. Though their disappearance has long been shrouded in mystery, the search is on to see if they might have left clues behind in their ancient temples, which might explain why they disappeared. Built around 3400 BC, Gigantia on the island of Gozo is the oldest of the Maltese temples. Gigantia has confounded academics for centuries. What was its function? How could the temple people living in such a harsh landscape have developed a society so sophisticated that it was capable of building temples so magnificent and complex? A groundbreaking team of archaeologists and scientists is now trying to crack these mysteries. At Gigantia, they discover something highly significant about the ground on which these temples stand. The temples were deliberately situated in, on some of the best agricultural soils. The team believes their soil may have been the secret that enabled the temple people to survive in this rocky land for so long. Rain rarely falls in Malta. Rivers can be dry all year long. Good soil is scarce. Samples of the soil from Gigantia are flown to Queen's University in Northern Ireland. Here, forensic archaeologist Dr. Rowan McLaughlin undertakes detailed studies. In the soil, we were able to discover charred seeds. We know they dated to prehistory because we were able to radiocarbon date each individual seed. Dr. McLaughlin places selected seed samples into an accelerator mass spectrometry particle collider. The AMS works by converting the sample into a particle beam, and this particle beam gets accelerated, literally to speeds approaching the speed of light. The quantity of carbon-13 atoms in the seeds is compared to calibrated time frame models. The results prove the seeds are 5,000 years old. Further soil analysis reveals that the ancient farmers succeed in generating highly sophisticated farming systems. They produce barley, beans, lentils, and fruit, and meat and dairy from livestock. It is this diverse and fulfilling diet that allows their rich culture to develop. They were trying, through experiment, to cherish the ground on which they lived. They were very resilient, but they also realized they need to be guardians of the land in which they resided. Incredibly, isotope analysis allows the scientists to discover exactly what nutrients these 5,000-year-old seeds drew from the soil in which they were planted. The results show that the temple farmers lace their dry soil with fertile manure. The soil has been worked and cut and filled and manure and other materials added to it to improve its fertility. The archaeological team has cracked a crucial piece of the puzzle. The reason the temple people survived so successfully here for over a millennium is thanks to their finely honed skills as farmers. <laughs> 